welcome back to workers and resources. We are back in our Republic. Last time we started planning out an area over here for more residential buildings up the mountain. We are currently building a prison because we're running close to our capacity limit. We are over our capacity limit right now, so we do need another prison as soon as possible. Hopefully with a few extra deliveries this will be fine, but we will increase the priority of our prison here before we run into any uh, crime issues. What's gonna happen today? Well, we are going to build up our Hellas University area. We are going to continue planning the location for our town expansion, but I think we also have to set up another another settlement. I think it's probably time to start expanding a little bit. I would like to have a gravel industry and I think this is probably going to be the area for it. Um, seems like it would be fairly easy to hook up. The road itself would leave around this way and over here this is just a back area. So the main road would just go along this route, I think. I think that's going to be the plan for now. I should also then set up asphalt and concrete plants here. So we need a fire station, asphalt, concrete and gravel. And I think that would be three nice things to have right now. The road will have to come through this way and I guess we're going to split it up here. And lead, lead it among both areas individually. Follow the terrain a little bit, I guess. That means we also have to figure out an intersection here. But yeah, the road should come this way, I think. That might make it look a little bit more natural. And then it goes up over the hill, back down. And maybe... There's going to be a tunnel here or something. A double tunnel. I should probably flatten this a little bit. So maybe we have a better excavator available that we can prepare the area with. Um, we'll do that at some point. Uh, right now I'm mostly concerned about... Yeah, I think having a road here is going to be fine. Especially since we want to go towards the farming settlement. But yeah, um, probably a village over here. Heating plant next to the water. And then the industry over on this side. I guess maybe settlement over here, heating plant here and industry. Or maybe the heating plant is going to be next to the industry. Not too close. I guess we could reuse our existing heating plant. That would definitely be possible. So I guess we don't need a heating plant in this area. Intersection wise, I wonder if we can do anything fancy with the road being able to come off of this side. I only want a single road here. The settlement itself can be gravel again, there's not much planned in this area. I guess that also means the intersection isn't really that special. And then we have cars waiting here, if there's traffic I guess. That should be fine. And we can probably design a settlement next to the road. Houses here. Another row of houses, another road. And then go up the hill. We're going to plan this as a baseline. I only need one area now, uh, one road I mean. But I might need two in the future, especially since we're getting further and further away from our other areas, so res resource imports will be slowed down. I still don't have the fast road connection to the customs house, which is what I need. 
We also need to use the time where we are making profit to maybe consider developing other areas that we're still spending money on. Electronics is one of them. We probably have to go and get electronics at some point. Otherwise, we're going to be in very bad shape when the price is going to tick up. Uh, we're still waiting on the demolition. Demolition is done. That's good. definitely go past the monument and the back end here and then it basically would come down this way and into this area I am not a hundred percent sure about the tunnel yet but basically I think it's gonna stay this way this will look fine it's also not gonna be perfectly symmetrical but the initial setup here should be then we can follow the road a little bit tunnel over here will prevent us from moving it out too much but we don't really have much planned in this area anyway there should be enough room for one row of housing and this one we will move back as needed it's hard rock so it takes a while but yeah right now mostly finishing the prison first with the train being stuck inside the building I guess that's fine we we'll start construction of this road which will allow us to get to our new area <clears throat> then we will have to bring some machinery here so we can flatten the area as we need it and yeah, I guess we don't need a heating plant. I guess we can use our existing one. At some point we have to be careful because the heating plant might run into capacity issues. And then we have to build a second one. Especially since this town is going to grow to a size where more than one heating plant will be necessary. And then I also have to rework the heating pipe connections. Uh, make sure they don't connect to the same one. But they share heating pipes between all of the heating plants individually. So each heat pumping station will only have one heat, uh, heating plant each. So there's two inputting, uh, two, two incoming pipes and it will be two different uh, heating plants coming in. So if one heating plant has an issue, the problems will be reduced. I think it's probably a good idea to go towards another industrial area. The downward slope is also going to look pretty nice. We can have another layered approach to our settlement. I probably also have to plan a road leading up to this area. Could come down from this village here. So we only have one intersection. And then use this one for something else. Maybe even more gravel, I don't know. It's a little bit of iron in the area, but nothing else. Iron on this mountain here. But yeah, if you have concrete on this road, asphalt on this road, gravel coming down here to feed these, I think that would be nice. Then the construction vehicles can get their materials from the main road. And it can be a lot of vehicles. I guess that also means the intersection could become a traffic nightmare. I think I'll turn this into a bridge. Yeah, I think this will be a bridge. Let me set up some guidance for the bridge first. We will remove that later.
Okay, we want to be about here. Going across, we need... We need pillars on both sides, I think. Need to move out a little bit more. That's good. One, two, three-ish. One, two, three. Looks a little bit weird. I'm gonna do that again. Give it a little bit more room. All right, here we go. All the way down. One, ah, that snapping point. It is gravel, so we can only combine that if it is gravel. Now there shouldn't be any snapping point there anymore. We're gonna go five spaces, I think. Yeah. So down all the way. One, two, three, four, five. Another one be a bridge too? Doesn't need to be. I think one bridge is gonna be enough. Yeah, this is a right hand no, this is a left hand turn to get out on this road. But it's only it's two lanes merging into one, but then this one could also do left hand turn out of here. Should probably be fine. And then these ones have to also connect in here, I guess. And I thought I could just move them out here. kind of weird a little bit okay they removed the upgrade functionality completely so this is basically a single lanes only might work. Then I connect. Hello Shari Shu. Then I can connect them over here. And then remove the road again. Ah oh, I didn't like that. Now it has a point over here instead. Hmm. Never mind. So we go from the center of this to this lane. That should work. The center of this to this lane. Then if we remove that we have a single point here that is centered properly.
Hello, Project 7. How was your sleep? Oh, you had a wonderful night. Are you ready for your next stream? I'm trying some weird intersections right now and I'm still completely unsure about them. Probably gonna modify that. But here's the... Here's the high density road that I made. Really like the look of it in first person. Come on, one vehicle. Secret police. Ah. Went to the first house instantly. Couldn't see much of the road, I guess. Looks nice, yeah. Short awake since 13. Okay. Alright. Some more bricks. Exactly what we need. Then crime should become less of an issue. I mean, if the vehicles want to do a U turn. Which shouldn't really happen. If they come down this way, they either want to leave. They don't really want to go down on this lane because there's nothing on this side that they should want to go to. There will be some... Maybe a beach or something over here, but vehicles should always want to go <clears throat> into the settlement area on the side of the bridge. And then this road just has an intersection here, I think. But we could have a U-turn here in the future. If the need arises, then they can do a U-turn in this area. And if they come out of this area, they can either go onto this lane or do a turn here onto this one. I think I'll just try this intersection. If we have to rework it, it's fine. It's a little bit confusing. Actually starting off thinking a new save? Oh, that's... I mean, I, I really like starting new games, I have to say. It is very slow in the beginning, but it is actually quite fun. And trying something different is also always nice. Uh, by the way, I told you about my train line exporting iron, so this is what it looks like. The iron mine up here, with bus route supply. We have our waste storage for the... Well, both, uh, both towns basically. Dropping mixed waste in here, no hazardous waste. And then the iron goes into the loading station, where four trains are basically permanently locked in on transporting the iron ore to the customs house of a, a rail network that's had, that has developed over time. But this bridge is a weird thing, it's not a two-lane bridge basically. The right lane is reserved for iron trains, and the left lane is for both directions for the other trains, which is the waste train and our lumber yard over here, which has its own train as well. It's all a bit chaotic. I tried to keep the terrain as much as possible, but I did flatten out some areas a bit more. Also, uh, to prove my point regarding oil, here's oil. It went back up to 22.4, but this is my oil price. When we talked about it. It's not that great. And my oil extraction is uh, over here. I have one oil field here. And one oil field here, and that's it. ridiculous. I have two, uh, two oil pumps and the oil price is in a dump. I don't understand that oil price. You like my iron trains? I think we'll do something like that too. Yeah. Just getting the raw iron ore and not processing it on site is like... I haven't done that before either but it's really interesting because you have to do a lot more volume. And it does make a decent amount of money, though the price went down a little bit, it's about 15,000. 
At one point it was up like to 45,000, which made us a lot of money. We're completely loan free by now. And we're making profit on most currencies. The profit in rubles is mostly us um, transporting some prefab panels from the west to the east. But I do plan to make them myself. Because I have to build a third settlement. We will do gravel over here, concrete and asphalt, and probably prefab panels. And I still have to find some coal that we can hook up, but it is nearby. If we develop in this direction, get our farming area set up. Over here. Farming spot. Farming community, maybe. And then coal would be next to that on this side, so we have to run a train past the farming settlement. And get some coal ore from here. Would need a lot of workers for the mine. But the refining would happen somewhere else. I'm trying to build more settlements again. But yeah, we're also developing our town. I wanted to try some hill hill structures, so I'm gonna go for a serpentine up the hill. I'm gonna tunnel into the mountain here. Go up one level, build this area up. And then curve around to another level and then curve around again. So we will need a fire station and a clinic in these, maybe one or two of them as we go up the mountain. But I think it'll look nice. Give our peak, Kiara Rush peak, some character. It'll take a while until we get there though. Right now I have... I have a few other things planned. Also I'm playing on slow speed because I'm planning right now. Should make more money per worker as the clothing, but don't make any sense if you don't have a train. Yeah. Uh, we're exporting clothing to the east again because of the price, but we only recently started. Since last year. 40,000 rubles. So far. But the iron is crazy. We've transported 53,000 tons so far for 1.1 million US dollars. You sell alu? Well, I no, I don't. I used it to. I buy. I bought aluminium from the west and sold it to the east. Instead of using uh, vehicles, instead of getting like western vehicles and selling them, I chose to do aluminium because it's a resource, and it will affect a market price. So I thought that one wasn't as cheesy. That's why I stuck with a resource. And aluminium has the highest money density that you can carry, because there is still. Uranium oxide that you can carry with these trucks But I mean trading is a fair point, right? There are two customs houses. They are connected. I can trade one resource from one point to another I am avoiding the personal vehicles though not the personal vehicles the Western vehicles That's a little bit too powerful uh, We do have to also upgrade these roads make sure fire trucks can get here faster whatever makes me happy yeah I mean I don't want to spend time balancing my exports I get a lot of money in US dollars and sometimes I need a little bit of a boost in rubles so I just shift some money over at that point and we move that truck that does that over in here but right now it's uh, permanently running prefab panels so we basically chose a different resource that is not as um, expensive. So we can run it consistently at all times. It's just transporting prefab panels from the west to the east and... Well, trying to balance the money out that way. So... That's why we have a positive income on both ends, because the US, uh, the the oil price is just in a tank. Like we have a small settlement, extracting oil, but we're not earning any money from that. Last year we earned how much from oil? Fifty-five thousand for two thousand eight hundred tons. Isn't that great? Two million in total. made more money with other resources. 
boards doesn't show up well because we stopped exporting that to the east at some point. But boards are decently profitable. Good volume. Need a lot of transportation, but yeah, with a basic train network it does work fairly well. The map is really interesting because it has, it has a lot of different elevation already to it. There's almost no flat area, so if you want... This is like one of the flat areas. If you want to build there, you either have to take the elevation into account or spend a lot of time flattening, and I like taking the elevation into account even though I flattened quite a bit here. But we are still trying to use some of the elevation. One more delivery, maybe two, depending on what truck goes here. One truck. And then I guess we can let any worker walk onto the construction site and build us the prison. Meanwhile, road construction over here has started. Maybe this intersection will work, maybe it will be a failure. In the beginning we won't, we will only have one lane. But once we have the asphalt and concrete plant in place, we can build the rest here quite, quite easily. With workers from Hellas and the resources produced in this area, that should work quite well. So I think the area next to the road is probably going to be... Maybe this area is going to be the asphalt and concrete pickup. I think it has to be on this side though, otherwise it doesn't match what I was planning. They do make a little bit of pollution, but it shouldn't be noticeable. Of course it could play into the fact that we're also making the gravel here. We'll probably have a small storage for cement. Can you store cement in the warehouse? I don't think so. You need the dry bulk storages. And they are very large. I guess these are fine. Yeah, we can have a small dry bulk storage of a thousand tons of cement. Problem will be that without a distribution office we are going to fill them to the brim. Well, that's fine. Lots of brick construction, so our brick storage is empty, which is to be expected. And I guess when we get our intersection here with a bridge going over to this side, it will be a trumpet interchange again, which shouldn't be too difficult to set up. We will need that for our train that runs on the other side of the river and then occasionally comes over. For gravel we will have to hook it up to the train network. Concrete and asphalt doesn't work that way. We could also hook up the gravel and just put concrete and asphalt plants somewhere else. We'll see. Let's pick up the speed a little bit. Prison is up. Uh, let's pause the game a bit. I need to set up the resource transportation. I think we can hook that up into our citizen food supply again. So our refrigerated truck for the old town needs to unload here first and then bring it to the citizens. I could have also put a truck here carrying resources over. We have two waiting places, but there are also prison buses going to come here, so it's not going to be that easy. Uh, we have food. I'm gonna do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So the prisoners get food before the citizens, basically, but my assumption is that the consumption is not going to be too high here. I might get a, I might get another another truck for this though. I'm a little bit concerned. And then we need our clothing via clothing slash electronics vehicle. And that one has to go... I guess we're spending more clothing now so the, the balance is off again but it's still going to be fine I think. Maybe clothing needs to be its own vehicle here. I don't want to mess with the balance in the warehouse. 
Are we going to mess things up? I think so. If I hook this up to the same transportation route, we would have a higher clothing consumption, so waiting for clothing would be the correct choice again. I'll try it. We'll see what happens. Uh, we will set these as warning messages in case something runs out and then we can adjust. So you will drop off clothing here. And I guess we're gonna do an initial supply of clothing, so just go to the prison. And we'll see what happens. Already six prisoners. We could relocate some out of the small prison. Ah, it's not overloaded anymore. That's fine. We also need a prison bus route. This will hold a lot more prisoners. And make sure we don't have any super disloyal people in here. Okay, so you have no clothing right now. You will wait until fully unloaded with electronics. I'm going to send you for more resources. Yeah, because these do not consume electronics. If prisoners do, don't consume electronics, that's also kind of neat. Where's the food truck? If prisoners don't consume electronics, that is useful. Oh, we already have two trucks here. Uh, old Town Prison, sure. I, un uh, I had it set to load food instead of unload, so the next truck will have to bring food here. Clothing consumption shouldn't be too high, I think. But yeah, prisoners. You can keep them happy, cultured, reduce crime, and use them for work. I still have to think about maybe doing a run where I just focus on prisoners at some point. That could be interesting. I need a road depot. How many do we have left? One. That's not... Why can't you refuel? Oh, I might have forgotten to switch the signals. This is correct. This is correct. This is because of the waypoint. You can't get from the waypoint to the refueling station. That's annoying. I want you to skip the waypoint if you want to refuel. Uh, I guess... No, that's gonna be fine, I think. I'm gonna change that route and put the waypoint somewhere else. So this waypoint prevents them from going to the refueling station. But if I put it here, they come out of the refueling station and might use the wrong bridge. We're going to delete that stop and force them to go through this one. But that also means I, I... No, I don't have to change it for the others because the other ones are supposed to use the other lane and then they should always get to the... Actually, no, I think I have the waypoint for the other ones also further back. Let me check. So many lines. Gonna check the trains instead. Yeah, the waypoint is also behind here. But they can't get back, so the waypoint could be here. For this one, it makes sense. Did the other one refuel now? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to avoid. I don't want you to go through the gas station. I guess I'll add another waypoint here. So when they stand at the customs house and they figure out they want to refuel, I hope they can realize that it works, but I'm not sure. Not sure if that will work. This one ran out of fuel, that's why it was complaining. Usually they refueled back here. 
But yeah, I would like them to use the new refueling point. We'll also set it up for our waste train. See if that helps. If we run into super weird refueling issues, I just have to take the fact that they run through this area, I guess. Hello, Tailman. Did watch your last stream. Railhill was having its latest overhaul. I foresee a third bridge track in the future when rail traffic increases even further. That way the two current bridges can become one way. Yeah, we could have a, another one over here, but then we have to relocate the construction office. Turn this into a one-way bridge and the oncoming traffic would match then the the waiting lane, lanes. And then we would match over here. That's right, that's true. We we'll just have to relocate the construction office at that point. I wonder if they will use the correct refueling point now. Or oh, if the waypoints are detrimental. Usually I don't have the refueling station in the middle of the track, I usually have it off to the side with a, an off-ramp kind of deal. But I thought it could be an interesting experiment to see if this would work. But running the trains through here is not ideal. Because there could be two trains incoming that don't want to refuel. And there could be three trains here trying to refuel and then the trains are basically blocking each other. I could set it up where this is basically one way and there's only one refueling line each. The rail network with the waypoints and all is really cool. Could already start by relocating the office, find a new spot. Yeah, right now I don't have a demand for an extra train line. I think we have enough throughput on the iron line. And I'm not sure there's going to be more trains coming through this way. I think the main train line is going to go off the customs house into this area instead. Around here, off along the river path. But if I need more, then I will, we will extend the rail traffic at that point. I don't want to overbuild, basically. I want to be exactly at the point that the, the train, the rail line needs to be. We could relocate the construction office already, though. It doesn't have to be in this area. Then I could choose a larger one and have a large construction office in the area instead. Since we're not going to get more housing, it's probably a good idea to make use of our remaining space over here. Getting two of these construction offices could be a could be the thing to do. potentially a lot of traffic out this area of a lot of vehicles trying to build things and maybe two construction offices is overdoing it a little bit but I could just have these construction offices and get rid of the very small ones from the area that are only supposed to do maintenance also did you see your reaction when you found out the coal spots it's going to be a challenging map I, I don't think it's challenging, it's just, well, it might be challenging, but it's just really a hassle, like, you see all of this coal and it's basically probably not efficient to use it. It's really annoying drawing resources on the map that way because it's really hard to see where a good coal spot, spot is. I would rather this to be a flat, a flattened but not 100% coal, like if this was a 40% or 30% coal, all the way and then it went down to 20% and then maybe 30% again. It would be much better to find a spot, but you go over here, you see the cold spot and then you can't check where the ideal spot is because you can't flatten, you can't see without flattening the terrain first. In this case you can see a little bit. But yeah, we'll probably have to get a town over here with some coal and then move it. That's gonna be interesting. Like on New Horizons the oil was pretty similar. At least there we made a little bit of profit for a while. 
So we want the two large construction offices. What else could we need? Not much really. Yeah, I think we're gonna make these construction offices obsolete probably. And just replace them with better vehicles that will help any construction effort in the area. And then maintenance will be done by these two as well. Should be able to reach everything I, I assume. Where's our town limit up here? It's over there. That makes sense. I also figured out when they use these um, proper main road signs, the white and yellow ones, they happen if you are behind a town marker. They're not everywhere, but behind those. Over here you still have the next intersection is a... you have priority. But inside a town, you get these markers, which is really cool. I think some better construction offices are going to be necessary. We have to relocate this one, get some better vehicles. Yeah, sure, let's build both of them. Fire station is not too far away. That should work. use small maintenance offices just for small smaller villages like Colata. There yeah, these small offices make sense and if we have to do a little bit of construction they can do that. And if we need to do road construction we can move additional machinery over. I guess they should have at least one large construction office too. Like the smallest of the larger construction offices. 12 slots. That way we could put the road construction equipment in here instead. Don't think I would be opposed to that. can feel the difference between the the western bulldozer and these ones that are currently in this area. Much different different bulldozing speed. Okay, that one would still be in range of the repair station so the vehicles could be repaired while being inside the building. And then we can relocate some machinery over here. Doesn't have to be a lot, but they should at least have maybe an excavator, maybe a bulldozer, and some paver and roller could be useful. In the future. Oh, we've almost finished the road construction over here. It's just we are not bringing enough material and or equipment to these construction sites. So we'll call on to our other construction offices from Hellas and Karasna to maybe bring some of our, our pavers, rollers and dump trucks over. So we finish the road before winter, otherwise we could run into issues. Got our new warehouse, we're gonna set it up with some resources. So basically I want this to be 25, 25 and 50. And then we're going to restrict it a little bit by increasing this storage so we don't have as many materials in here as possible yet. We also need forklifts. 
and then we need extra trucks here. And for this one I wanted to have a constantly running route. I didn't want to build a road cargo station. We will have the trucks just constantly running with line spacing instead. Which could cause issues, but we're going to find out. Uh, refueling wise... Bus end station, you will have to bring the first load of fuel mm -hmm. to the forklift garage. Hello Sancho. Thankfully coal prices are very low still. We aren't at 450 yet and it's dropping. So the game is giving us a bit of extra time. I'm not sure if there's any... If there's any... Um, oh, come on. What the hell? If there's any uh, price that is going up and I'm not noticing except for the inflation. Clothing export to the east is really good. Boards is go Oh, board price is going up. That's great. And iron ore. Iron ore is pretty stable and low, but a consistent amount of income for us. So really nice to have. I guess we could get a road depot in this area, next to the uh, monument. I would like to build more of these at some point, anyway. Since I don't really use them enough. I think every large town should have at least one road depot, probably. No one needs to walk in here, so an asphalt road itself will be enough. Don't have a repair station in the area yet. We also have to build one of these. The small repair station in this area might get overworked with the tasks that is the tasks that are going to happen if we have a lot of vehicles running in this area. So a medium or even a large repair station will have to happen as well. I think a, I think a medium repair station to a large one aren't that different. I guess we'll just have the large one. Be prepared. We will need a road cargo station for this to deliver construction equipment. Also thinking of warehouse maybe. But the road cargo station is our warehouse I guess. Yeah, just a road cargo station probably. I guess this will be the only footpath here, maybe. We could set up another one. Not sure if we need anything over here. Close now to be flattened, but it's barely visible. I don't know if we need this footpath behind the building, but we'll have it. And then workers can walk onto this area quite easily. Once we set it up. Depot should be in range. 
construction office is not. This construction office might be moved. There might be houses here. I'm not quite sure yet. We got our bus stop. That means I'm just going to unload workers directly here. Anyone, so we don't have the unload commands anymore. Individually. Unload anyone you have loaded on here. Depot and maintenance don't have to be in the middle of the city. They don't, but this was supposed to be my service maintenance area. So this is the local repair station of the city. I know it would make a nice residential area, but we have waste storage. We have our demolition office over here. There's not that much residential zoning planned up here. The residential zoning will start down here. A little bit in this area on these walls. It doesn't have to be, yes, but... Water, sewage, electricity, no heating necessary. Electricity is questionable right now. Electricity is not available, unfortunately. Is it? Or is it not? It's not. So we'll have to get a substation here. I'm just gonna overlap the substations a little bit. I could move it further away, but I'm not too concerned. We already have most of the electricity that we want in the area anyway. Happy Wednesday, comrade. How's the Republic today? Hello, Hailstorm. Republic is doing well. We've started a bunch more construction projects. We have our prison. The construction of that one finished when our other prison was at around 46 people. We have our new town area up here planned. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting with the food supply. They have to travel quite a bit. Maybe there will be a warehouse storage and then small trucks from the warehouse going back and forth all the time between the buildings. Could be a warehouse in this area. So we don't have to run all the way through the customs house. I will need warehouses anyway at some point. And meat we can pick up at the other refrigerated building. I guess we can pick it up from the existing warehouse. This one is a little bit oversized for the purpose here pick up food, pick up meat, and then transport it up the serpentine into the specific buildings. I think we can start building this. Let me try and maybe raise the terrain over the tunnel a little bit if it lets me. This will be another construction site where we will then have another tunnel going back, etc, etc. Not sure how far we're going to push this, but I'm trying to look, make something look a little bit more interesting. So let's build the tunnel, I guess. Get that road construction underway too. <clears throat> With the road leading up to here. I guess this road needs to be uh, footpaths. 
map is on the correct side, it looks like. Yeah, that seems to be fine. That might make the view from the road a little bit more interesting with houses snaking up the hill. We'll see. All for the graphics. Good income. Ruble is not as inter interesting to us as US dollars because the inflation will not impact that resource, that currency, very much at all. So any US dollar we have is going to be a really good investment. Brick flat on fire. Should be fine. This time we are extinguishing it directly from the road, so no problem. Didn't have to travel all the way around for that one. Let's make sure the road construction in Colata is um, finishing up. Looks like that's the... That's true. We have a lot of pavers. Most of the roads are already rolled or in the per uh, to the point where they are getting rolled. So the road construction upgrade project here should not be a problem. And then we don't have any traffic issues during winter. And once all of them are done we can do the remaining roads leading to ta into town because they have access to any area from both sides so we can just bit by bit do the upgrade projects of the road. At least up to the bus stop I would say. University still working well. To leave this area as housing, I would assume, not a repair station. I don't know. Probably a little bit too close, but I think I like the concept. Move it out maybe a little bit. We can extend our old town area. It would be fairly annoying though, having people watch into your window. I don't know if I like that. I guess the attraction building, you could argue, is not running all the time. And there are still blinds. I guess we will leave some area. We will leave some area free here. And put more housing next to it instead. As long as they can reach school and the kindergarten. Although a kindergarten, another kindergarten will probably be necessary at some point. We're at half capacity right now. And with low loyalty is... It's challenging. It's a little bit more challenging with low loyalty. When the productivity of everything is a little bit lower.
This way I also leave the view of the ferris wheel into that way. A little bit open, I guess. Not blocking it by some high rises. Not that that's important, but that's what I'm doing. 50% happiness, 28% loyalty only. I think that's still from our heating issue, so we're probably fine. All of the houses are fully occupied. There's no more free space here, which is good to see. 5,800 citizens, and we are starting to get some 21-year-olds without their own flat. I wonder if that's going to be university students stuck in the Hall of Residence. Looks like the answer to that right now is no. We will set up some housing in here. We will have a hall of residence be part of that. They can go shopping here, but they also have to use the bus to get to the old town for now because I don't have anything else set up. Hopefully that will be fine by them, by them, for them. You know what I mean. I would like to have some of these taller buildings, but I guess we're just gonna have these. Also, yeah, I like these ones. Well, we have to grow our town first before we can do the research. Because of our rules and challenges. There's no point, no purpose for them to getting up here. But the shopping center should be nice and accessible. So how much space would you leave between these? This much? This much? This much? I think I've seen this. But I feel like that's a little bit too narrow. Heating, water, sewage, electricity. I also kind of want to get fancy with the design of the houses again. Like the layout of the houses at least a little bit. We will have a footpath going past here anyway. That will have to go and allow them to get to the bus stop a little bit easier. Since we don't have any footpaths on these roads, they're not meant for walking, they're mostly meant for traffic. Windows should probably not be facing the roundabout. That seems like poor design. How can I get fancy in this area? I haven't used this diagonal setup anywhere, I don't think. Maybe that would be enough. That would 
be a lot of extra workers. Potentially a lot of unemployment. And then we have a green space here next to the main road, because why not? Does that make sense? That one, at least not yet. Come on, vehicles. Thank you. As I said, things might get reworked. So we're just gonna put down a residential area here. And it might change in the future. I guess I do need a waste storage. I also need a waste storage for our uh, shopping center. Definitely a large one for that. Come on, leave the snapping point here, please. There we go. And I'll knock that up that up as close as possible. Then in a way storage for our residential area. I don't want it to be on the roundabout but it might be the best option. Easiest way to set it up. I guess a waste trucker will have to go in here, pick up the waste, and go back onto the roundabout. I guess it's not that bad. As long as all of the houses are covered, this should be fine. waste with footpath because they're too narrow they're too small they only have 2.2 tons of storage capacity and this is a lot of housing and these ones can have 52 tons or 120 156 so it's more than 20 times the storage capacity I guess we could also have small waste storages and just use the footpaths I did set up my old town with large waste storages in mind because it will make it easier to set up recycling here at some point. We could use the small storages, I guess. Not a problem. Yeah, 
They look a little bit nicer, but the capacity difference is so large. Always feels weird using the small ones. But since we have a large waste storage over here, I guess it shouldn't be a problem. You might be right that we're just picking it up here, driving it over here, and then we won't have any any throughput issues anyway, since we're not traveling very far. everything. The university could have another footpath crossing here, but they can also walk there, so that's fine. Have to walk along along the longer path. Don't want to have too many pedestrian crossings here for the look. 40, un 40 unemployed people right now, so not too many. I think I'll get a house set up. Which means we will have to start working on... Not start working, but finish our our shopping setup. We will try and use the direct route with line spacing. See how that works for us. Um, for refrigerated, since we have our own freezer over here, we will get another large refrigerated truck too. We have a million US dollars. That's a lot. Get two of these. One refrigerated truck. This is our university area. As I said, the town might grow larger. There's a lot of space here. But this is basically the population supposed to deal with the university and maybe getting carried around to the old town. At that point we can probably also switch our bus route, just carrying workers, carrying any anyone back and forth, whoever wants to move from the bus stop to any other area. Let's restrict the food a little bit more. We should have the money for it, but... Just a little bit careful, I guess. We'll also add another fire truck. Because we're gonna have more people here, so... A little bit extra fire safety can't hurt. And I will get another small garbage truck. I guess we should also use the western ones for these. Maybe. I think so. Now that money is not an issue anymore, we could go a little bit bigger. Still want to retain as much money as possible and not be wasteful with our resources, but... We can spend a little bit. That's why it's there. Down here we will use concrete.
foot pass. For the future. Some other infrastructures in the way. Storage Hellas University already on fire. Excellent. Okay, more routes. I need a centralized warehouse at some point, especially because I need to hook it up to a train line. We will have to set up so many routes to a different area at that point. Um, this is Hellas Lead University. Can I copy that onto vehicles that aren't refrigerated? I can't. Then I will have to set it up manually. Food into the warehouse. Unload food. Yeah, I guess we will have two food trucks. And they're gonna run in parallel. In the loop. We're gonna turn on line spacing and have them always run food here, not parking anywhere. And then we need another truck for electronics and clothing, which I forgot. I also have to rename the line for food. Okay, so for clothing I need to be in line with what we have here. But it is going to r always run, so it isn't explicitly important that... No, it, it, I don't need to be that too, too careful. Electronics consumption is higher than clothing consumption. So we will have more than 50% electronics. This is exactly 50%. This is more than 50%. This should be enough. Keep the vehicle separated that way. We'll load the electronics first. Load clothing from our domestic storage. And then unload. No waiting, just always running. There's no line spacing here because it's only one vehicle. But we'll see if it works. This is our line for clothing and electronics for Hellas University. This is our line for food. So they will always run, there will no be, there will not be any vehicle being parked except for the refrigerated truck which has its own storage for two vehicles and one of them will be occupied. As soon as the storage is full. I'm a little bit worried about water and sewage. I guess we did hook up sewage, so we shouldn't be worried. 
As long as they have water, I will be fine. I'm only unload into the shopping center. At some point we will need more more vehicles here. Uh, the next I need is more buses. I guess we can change up our existing bus route probably. Right now we're picking up workers, which is correct, but we're going to simplify the bus route. It's going to be back and forth between the between the bus stops. So we're going to move out of the end station this way into the roundabout bus stop here, bus stop, back to the end station, I think. So end station, bus stop, bus stop, bus stop, end station. That should give enough time for anyone on the bus to unload. And this end station should have been at the start. Oops. I added the end station again. Don't need to add the last end station. If I guess if there's someone still in the bus when they come over here after the end station, they can also unload there. But the last stop should not load anyone. It wouldn't do that anyway, because the end station I think, but yeah. So now we're also hauling workers in between our town. Should reduce unemployment. Should hopefully balance the university to what we have set it to. We'll bring some workers to the shopping center. I also restrict it to 10 fuel workers just so I have an emergency reserve of workers in case something goes wrong. And that way we will also haul passengers and students depending on what we need. I might have to replace my buses though with a, um, the larger bendy buses because we have a lot more passengers now being transported back and forth. I guess we're going to find out. The route is also a little bit longer. Let's get some... Are there any cool bendy buses here? Yes. 127. 129. I haven't used these yet, so might as well. 10 meters, 10 meters, slightly more engine power, two more people inside. Let's add two, two of them. Hellas, Old Town, uh, sorry, University first. University, Old Town, Inner City. Is it Inter City? I thought it's Inner City, like that. Not intercity between towns, but inner city, it's inside. Might phase out the vehicles over time. Should work fine. Only bringing workers down here for now. Workers and students. I hope we pick up some workers. And the university does, doesn't crash and burn. I did tell it to load anyone. I guess the bus route is a little bit longer, so fewer workers go here right now. And the area is also supposed to handle a hall of residence, I guess. We'll use this one.
this way. And we have room for maybe a football playground or a fountain or some green space. And the Hall of Residence will get its own waste storage. Yeah, maybe I just need to accept the fact that if I have a close by waste storage for the settlement, I shouldn't have issues with uh, these waste storages. It would be nice if the trucks had larger carrying capacity. I don't like them driving around with like a half full storage, but it is what it is. Over here we have a footpath road, so they can connect to this. And same over here, I guess. And the Hall of Residence will make sure that university education shouldn't be a problem. Even if we do a research and maybe use all of the available professors for research at that point. Looks like we're collecting a few um, materials from our scrapyard. Could make the big entrance to the roundabout one way. Buses make a weird corner now. Buses make a weird corner. This way. Yeah, those are supposed to be one way, but I haven't set up the road yet. The problem is that they're driving back here because it's shorter instead of up here into the roundabout. But yeah, this is supposed to be a one way road here. We'll set up the single lane as a one way road right now. And then they use the correct path that's supposed to be like that in the future too. Could create a little bit of extra traffic here with the buses leaving this way and coming back through this way but we shouldn't have that much traffic on the bus route we'll see they look pretty neat maybe bending a little bit too far but yeah more buses please People from Old Town could also decide that they want to go shopping down here, if they really feel like it. I assume this is what you meant. If not, then let me know. Tunnel construction over here, down to 5,500 workers. I don't even know how much um, it started at. I can build on that, that's fine. Okay. And once this road is done, we can hook up the footpath back here instead of this weird dirt footpath. Maybe we're gonna get to 7,500 people with this. Tunnel will take a year probably. Uh, so this tunnel is a... it's not a building. So basically the setting how many workers we want here does count. So I can throw up to 740 people at it. Which might reduce the amount of workers going to the mine, but it will increase the amount of workers being picked up for going to the tunnel construction. And now that we have a lot of workers, we can increase the product, uh, construction speed, if we really want to. It's unfortunate that if the road construction starts, we will have to tone it down manually again, if we want it to be a little bit efficient, but 
way it's set up right now is okay. We also got our, our construction offices up here. CO Corazna 1 and CO Corazna 2. The assignments are identical to our existing construction office. Except for the workers, the workers are probably going to be picked up from Hellas. I mean, we should have a few workers here. Because we are bringing them to a clothing factory, so I guess it's fine. Copy those settings over here. And then we have to set up our vehicles. So these offices will become obsolete, however I think we can reuse the concrete mixers, even if they're a little bit old and busted. For now that'll be fine. I think the other vehicles will all go to the scrapyard. Except the buses. The buses can remain. And then the rest of them will send to the scrapyard. Covered hull are probably going to be enough. I don't know if I'm going to use western or eastern vehicles. Probably some western ones. Might as well. That's where our main income is, so let's use those vehicles right now. Four open hull trucks. Cover tower. We will have to bring our tower cranes over here. I think they're still in this construction office. Some more vehicles to be scrapped for sure. I think the bus is probably obsolete too. The road crane and the covered hull truck as well. They served as well, but I'm gonna upgrade our fleet right now. That equipment will last us a while. There's a free construction office with even more buses and some more concrete mixers. They can also go in here. We will have to unload. We might have to shuffle the concrete mixers over here. Because I need to make all the buses or... Actually, no, I moved them into the wrong building. Our open mile trucks are in there. And so are going to be our tower cranes because the tower cranes will have to be carried by trucks. Uh, these vehicles will stay. They can be used for um, replacing other vehicles. We'll move a bulldozer in. Making sure we always have one for road construction purpose. One more tower crane in here. And I guess the excavators will just continue working until they at some point become too old and get replaced by the one that we are setting now in the vehicle replacement menu. For excavator, I think I like the idea of road crane, but I also like the idea of just going 
Oh, we we don't have the better excavator yet. Um, so I guess we are just gonna go with road crane. This one, I guess, can stay here. We also built another construction office in this area to assist the maintenance ones and to mostly move the construction mm -hmm. equipment over here. Mm -hmm. 50, 36, 34, 27, 27, 27. More vehicles for the scrapyard. That's our tanker truck that we parked temporarily because we had fuel issues. Okay, that's basically our construction office that we can modify based on what we need. A larger oak mile truck, a larger dump truck will be quite useful. And then I guess you, before you refuel the gas station, you will refuel this construction office because the mechanisms in there are a little bit slow. And your demolition office that I guess we don't need anymore either. So that mm -hmm. microbus, we're just going to kick out. Road construction over here appears to be done. So the dirt road can also be removed. There we go. Oh, one more section. Don't have a depot plan for this area yet, but we all, might also build one just just to have a depot available. How did you get on that line? I know how you got on that line because we have the signal over here, and you don't care how you get there. Ah, that refueling station is not set up that well. I guess we're gonna try and add another signal here again and see if that resolves it, if they can still refuel. This one went to refuel over here so it did not pick the correct point. I guess it's going through all the waypoints first before refueling which is not great, but that could be useful in other areas. In our case it's not that useful. Hi Bergshred, I'm taking some time to plan for my next save and I found some infos regarding your and my oil price. They changed some stuff always last year and now export-import debuffs are linked to your population which means even though I produced around double the amount of oil, didn't hurt so much because you had in that moment less than half my population. It's based on population? That's weird. Okay. That is unfortunate. Well, that should mean our oil price starts going up the more population we have, I guess. My price is not bad, yours is just rubbish. And I see the official starting price of oil is 45 rubles. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It is not good. How many workers are we dropping into the tunnel right now? Zero. It has something to do with the redoing of the construction offices in the search range, but not being high enough yet. So let's adjust that. Uh, we still have dump trucks over here. Still have you. Thought I had more than one dump truck. Guess not. Oh, there's still one in here. Never mind. 
It's currently busy holding asphalt. Makes sense. We will relocate you once you're done, and we can see you. I guess I can do that right now by cancelling all sources, so as soon as you're done with your current construction task, you're just gonna stand around. Was also new for me. Found a price calculator from Forsion. Okay. So as we grow our population, the oil price is gonna go up, is what you're saying. Well, we'll see. We will see. I always assumed it would go up because of increased consumption with lots and lots more vehicles that we have, but if it's tied to population that means you need to increase every type of resource. Otherwise imports are all gonna go up. I don't know if I like that, but I didn't care about it when I didn't knew about it, so it's probably fine. I just assumed it was a lot of increased demand from everyone. One eighty two capacity bus coming up. We still have our uh, small western bulldozer next to the other ones now. And we'll keep that one. I think I have to set up the um, the export or at least the transfer pro for resources here for our scrapyard because we're getting a lot more materials now. And it might run full at some point. So I guess we do need a vehicle depot. Could organize that with a free one for now.
wait until loaded. If we ever get aluminium from an aircraft, it might not be in this area. We will adjust that if it happens. Uh, we should should we export steel? Otherwise, it's going to be annoying with trying to move it into other storages. What's the steel price? I think I'm just going to go export it. Yeah, export it to the east is fine. That'll give us some profit, I guess. And then the covered hull truck. Still have to set that one up. Copy that name and then just replace the last few words. Slash word. to wait until fully loaded here. I don't think. Oh, I guess we could just, yeah, we could just load both resources and wait until fully loaded. It'll just wait until anything fills up the truck. Call out the scrapyard components, export. And if we have at some point have a centralized storage solution where we can organize the material count, then at that point we can reroute the traffic to that area. But for now I'm just going to use the the customs houses as my external store central storage. Otherwise I would need to transport it to the western warehouses or the eastern one. At some point we'll have a train connection. Let's see if this one works correctly. I guess we're not full on components yet. At some point will be. Well, yeah, that should deal with it. And the mixed waste is, pick up, is picked up by a small truck at some point. Is a dump truck here already? Should have already picked up a load. Oh, it's not here yet. So the road cargo station is pretty much obsolete. We'll see when all the vehicles are here. It should be exactly four vehicle slots occupied and the fifth one can be used by arriving vehicles, police station, cars, ambulances, service vehicles basically. I don't think this connected to water or sewage so they also bring that here explicitly which is not great. I will set up a dedicated storage. Um, otherwise the trucks are a little bit inefficient. And by a little bit I mean they carry a tenth of the capacity. residents should not have problems, it's just that the people moving in here sometimes have low happiness for some reason. 24 years of age but you finished your education. 30% productivity for some reason. Both of you finished your education. The reason for that is probably they can't find any other house to move into right now, so 
we need to expand our housing. Hundred and twenty people ready to move into new buildings. That will drop happiness a little bit, I guess. If they can't find a place to move into. But our first house is almost ready. We'll just let people walk in here to build it up. And then we'll see if this area works with the bus route. We can get to any service building from this bus stop. As long as we have enough buses running and carrying workers and people back and forth. So we're carrying workers mostly to this area right now because the university requires it. That should go down by, uh, in time. And then it will be a lot of um, a lot of passengers instead after that. I think I like the idea of a green space with some footpaths more than the football playground. So I will plan for that in, uh, instead. I think maybe I can find a way to. Get a neat, a neat pattern going. How do I get a, a twisted path from here into this? I basically need to remove this one to get that. I need to place this one first, I guess. That's gonna look weird. It's gonna look like retro bubbles, I guess. I guess we're not gonna have a footpath here. Uh, there might be one coming down this way instead. Halfway here? Is that enough? No, it's not. Too narrow. No footpath. I guess we couldn't annoy the students here a little bit by adding more more circles. might be too small. Yeah, it's gonna look weird. A little bit unfortunate. I think I figured out a way to get what I want. Oh my god, this is looking ridiculous. I love it. And if you don't like squiggly footpaths, then you can go out this way, I guess. Well, we're still gonna add a little bit of a squiggly footpath, maybe. Make a corner around here instead. Can't escape the squigglies.
should have placed that first. Uh, the statue will be... No, not, not that large next to them to the building, that would look a little bit weird. I'll have the statue over here, I guess. A smaller one. Thank you for removing my trees again. We will have to replant that next time we load the save game. can go pa what does it look like if you go past the uh... oh it's a tiny footpath that's cute sure we might head over to this area Let's see what that one looks like once it's developed. Our waste train is waiting. Because you are not able to refuel because... This one supposedly has issues. Is that because of the waypoint again? This waypoint. <sighs> this is so annoying. We might just have to deal with the fact that they are going to use the gas station. I'm gonna get rid of these waypoints. And just let them run however they want. Until I maybe set up another gas station in the future. But this is probably going to be a problem. But we'll see what the trains do. No more waypoints for you too. Probably need a passing track for you to get down here and not have to wait that long. Uh, the refueling point basically acts as a passing lane, so... Work. 
Okay. So basically a waiting platform for the train to wait here. For the waste train to get all the way down the hill before it waits in this area. In case there's another train doing something. And now our trains might do weird stuff. But probably it's still going to work the most, uh, mostly fine. The iron trains are going to use this lane though, which is going to be really annoying. I need to get rid of this section, I think, so the trains can't move down to this lane. We're gonna demolish that. Get our rail construction buses back on the road. That demolished real quick and then hopefully they will pick the correct lane. They probably won't because they can still get in here from this bridge basically. There's our dump truck. Demolish that plus the road. on the wrong lane right now so it could theoretically stop on this and block thing oh, i can't stop it's both chain signals never mind we'll only go through there if there's room but it can hold up other trains i guess we're going to build the other bridge and turn this into a one-way track set up but that then means that we have to rework this intersection again and get the the incoming lanes from this and the outgoing lanes need to then go to a different bridge we'll see if that works or if we run into space issues this is all pretty narrow here hopefully it'll work This, this looks broken. It works fine, but it looks weird. Twisted. Waiting time? 40 minutes. Fifty minutes. Bus route, 315 seconds, so we need six vehicles to be safe. We currently have five. This building already filled up. Seems to be okay for now. Let's get another bus though. Uh, which ones did I buy? 129 passengers. Guess we got to start on the next residential building right away, since this one already filled up.
guess a pub should probably be built down here at some point. I don't know if our pub up here is running into capacity issues. Not yet, it looks like. I guess um, alcohol could be a bit of a problem. Clothing. Yes. Yes, we are. We have to tell our truck to wait until loaded with clothing, otherwise, this is going to run into issues in the future. So, the loading command for clothing will have to be a wait until loaded. I don't know if I have set it up that way here. I did not. We'll also change that. That means we will have a lot of trucks waiting for clothing to be produced. Yeah, this is better. Could cause traffic jams here. Can't really prioritize export easily. Oh well. I guess the export would be pick up, pick up the resources, fill the domestic storage warehouse, and then export the rest. So we only produce into this warehouse, fill up a domestic storage warehouse that is not connected with a factory connection, and then remove the rest. But yeah, now we're getting traffic jam problems. to the border and end your route mm -hmm. in the depot for now. We don't need these construction offices anymore, so we're gonna get rid of them too. This road can go away as well. That is fine, this is not fine. Wrong lane. And even if I turn this into a one-way lane, the trains could still decide to wait. Oh yeah, no, when I turn that around, it's gonna be fixed. Never mind, yeah. Then it should hopefully get fixed. I need the temporary road here again to tell the bridge to leave a little bit of a gap so it's symmetrical. So initially I thought we would have two roads, but we changed our mind. Okay, so this will need to hook up to all of these lines, and this one. And we basically can only really do that. What a sick drift you just did there, what the hell? Didn't like me rebuilding this while the train was nearby. And to leave this area you can go into the refueling point. You basically can hook up in here. And you can either pick the refueling or the other one.
Oh, this does this disable snapping. Well, it doesn't work for building connections, I think. Junction is a little bit too close. I'm worried that it's interfering with the traffic on the other lane again, but it probably doesn't doesn't care. Yeah, this is probably fine. here. Then we will have to work to get this fixed up. Let's let the rail construction office do its thing for now. A million rubles. 850,000 US dollars. We're doing a lot of construction work at the same time. Well, for for my measure at least, for how I much for how much I do usually. seems to be running well. We have no complaints in this building. We don't know the loyalty yet, we have to build a secret police down here. The secret police from Karasna cannot reach or it's just too busy. So a secret police will have to be built in general. I think a small one is still fine. This large one looks quite large. Small, the small one is good for the old town and they can do secret police stuff here for now until we build maybe a larger one a little bit later. Don't really want footpaths in but I guess workers are going to walk in regardless. So we might as well give them some street lamps and sidewalks. I'm gonna put a signal here so that the trains shouldn't get interrupted. I did interrupt the construction process but yeah as soon as the construction train is past the signal it should be fine. building from that side, I guess. Sure. Triple bridge. Sure. Should work. We'll increase the priority for these construction tasks, so hopefully it'll choose this lane next time. No guarantee though, because this will probably finish construction anyway.
tunnel construction is done. Now we only need to lay down the road. So it didn't take long at all. I spent a lot of workers for it. But now we have it. And maybe we can develop this area. I should name it so I, I, so I can temporarily disable the buildings in the area. I think this is the easiest option. Just disable it. What if I remove this now? They stay disabled. Good. That is helpful. As long as it didn't cover anything else. We're good. The rail construction vehicle is stuck because I did not intend this to have trains running back and forth. So we're going to turn this... into two lanes. Should be able to get through here now. Oh, it might be a little bit too short. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You are a longer construction train. There you go. But yeah, hopefully you will build from the other side now instead. Put this to normal priority, so it finishes this lane first, and then I can build the bridge from this side too. I really hope we can hook up the other lines. We might have to pause our rail system for a bit to hook everything up. We'll see. You really could run a mine with just trains. You can take the waste away with a train. If you connect it directly to the mine, you can bring workers to the train externally, unloading them, make them walk. And the resources. Water, I guess water and sewage is a problem. That one you can't bring by train, but you could pipe it there. Yes, there's our waste train. Uh, our waste train should probably not go in there ever. Because it takes so long to unload. I might set our waste train to always pick this lane. And otherwise wait. Because it's just so slow and it blocks other traffic. I guess, it, I guess it's just a rare construction vehicle. Never mind, that's... It's not that important. Could add a few more dump trucks, I guess. Footpaths and road constructions are a little bit slow. What's our road construction project down here doing? Looks like everything in this area has been set up. So we can start developing it. I need to bring bulldozers over but pretty much. And maybe an excavator. need more bulldozers because there's also more flattening to be done in Hellas anyway. Right now this should be fine. Three bulldozers should make short work of this area. Um, maybe we will add some excavators too. Still don't have the better one. I guess at that point we can use some road excavators.
And yeah, maybe a house or two up here will also work. Not sure yet. If we need another service building. I guess we could have a footpath hook up through here. I don't. Maybe a pedestrian crossing. Like a, a bridge. Or maybe a tunnel. Right now. Not yet. I guess we're building from this side again. Because the rail construction office doesn't like what I had planned. So we're going to make. It not be able to get there. Uh, we'll have to build from this side instead. However, if we put this as a regular signal, this should always be green. Now there should always be a way through here. I'm a little bit concerned with the rail rework, but I think we can make it work. We will only temporarily have an issue with the logging train and the waste train. I think we have to move our iron trains into storage to get it done, because otherwise they will be stuck in here. Or I could move them through this area to a waypoint and then back. I guess that could work while well, I change things up. Three percent unemployment. Over 120, over 115 people unemployed right now. We don't have a kindergarten in this area, so. Probably consider that. I can walk to the kindergarten, but it's quite far. I guess they have access. Sport and pub are issues. Technical University tennis court.
gonna flatten my trees again. No. Oh well. Let's get that set up. Some sports facilities locally. Six buses. Should be enough for 360 average lap time. Still some complaints about no kindergarten. This might just be too far away. Path underneath this thing. later. It's only seven people. Even the building is full. Meat is full. Clothing is looking good. Electronics is full. Excellent. Yeah, that's why we have the bypass lane. That's why it's there, because it's way faster. So the demolition of this is done, so I can remove the other buildings again. I only had a little bit of a section left from a heating pipe that I didn't want to get demolished, so we hooked up some blueprints and then it was able to get to it, no problem. Let's get another set of dump trucks. Gravel deliveries are a little bit slow, it feels like. Resource assignments are correct. Do we have the better Western one yet? Not yet. It might not be better, but I like the look of it better. I'm gonna go for the semi. Maybe the trailers. No, semi. 
two of these extra should be fine. Oh look, we're blocked in. Who could have guessed? Stupid trains. That's why the waypoints were there, so it didn't happen. I'm gonna lower the amount of vehicles for now, because I will need the room for rail construction anyway. Missing resource steel. Well, why didn't you say so? Let's bring the construction materials back. So we're not demolishing right now. We will be, at some point, taking out the lanes that lead in here. These ones. And hooking them up here instead. And also these ones, I guess. A lane from this bridge does not need to go over there. The demolition is going to be a bit annoying. Maybe I should do the demolition before I start filling everything up with resources again. down to low. I think we're gonna move all trains into the uh, storage for now because I don't trust myself right now. I hope they can fit in there. So no iron exports for now. I guess the trains will still have to go over here because they might need repairs. So they have to go from here into this lane for sure. This will have to stay. This lane, however, should not go into the iron line anymore at all. That is one of the problems that is uh, leading to the issue right now. the demolition. Can we snap that together? I don't think so. Maybe if I build the other way. Because if I demolish this one first then it can't get to the other area anymore. I guess we can start all of that and then cancel this one. Yeah, I wish this would combine. I guess we'll have to demolish that last. Here you also should not be able to get into this line anymore. Oh, that's probably this. I see. I'm gonna move that one too. We are going to choose your lane now. I will leave it like that. So we have 1 million US dollars to make that change before we need another income. Unemployment should not be an issue because they can still wait around inside the mine. And there are other things to build right now, so they should not get bored. We start having some 21-year-olds without their own flat again. 
need to expand our housing. We need 1,600 more people, and then we can do an, another research if we want. Here's our line spacing food trucks. Not that great. I don't think I can assign them to a bus end station, can I? I think I already tested that once and it wasn't possible. I can. Really? Well, then our food trucks are gonna go through the bus end station. And that will allow them to travel at full speed when getting resources. That changes a few things. Both of them are started, both of them can be demolished right now. Still have our lumber exports, which are going to continue running. But the iron one... We'll have to wait a bit. Shouldn't take too long, if everything can be hooked up. If it can't, then it's going to be annoying. There's only one, one issue here that we need to resolve, which is getting these lanes up to here. very quick. Could instantly go back to the other one without driving home, but I guess it is what it is. So yeah, this line needs to connect here. And these. And this line just needs to go this way, so we have to remove this whole section. I wonder if I can combine it now. Let me try again. With the other one gone, it might work. There's the snapping point here in the way, unfortunately. But it did combine it, so now it's only one demolition task. It should speed it up a little. Oh, it might still be multiple. I think this is the right one. Yep. Now it's all one demolition task. Just have to assign it again. That will be a little bit faster. We will pause the bridge construction. Otherwise, whenever it gets a little, little some material from the demolition, it might try and build the bridge. Right now I want to focus on the demolition only. And once that one is done, there's only two rail lines here and one rail line up here. And then we have to go from this one that I can't select right now. From this one down to here. And too sharp of a turn is the main concern. But we can get a little bit closer to the bridge by removing this signal, so... We will see if that is actually enough. Supposedly it isn't. We can get to this one. This one is just being annoying.
what if we use a slightly backwards signal? Then it works. Then it works. I don't know if the trains are going to be too long for this, but we'll find out. Let's remove the signal once more. The other one. Don't snap to this one, I want this one. So I'll we'll have to do it manually here. Let's put the signal back before I do that. Alright. We will need these train lines, we will need the bridge. And then we should be set up. No more demolition. Hopefully, hopefully the path is long enough to accommodate for a train. Otherwise, I'm going to be mad. Hello, Cthulhu. 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 Welcome. Uh, it should be long enough, but it's going to be close. I saw them parked here once. It seemed like there was a little, like a tiny sliver of give. 142 meters. Trains are 139, so we might be okay. Then we just need the bridge, signal everything up correctly. And then it should be set up correctly. From the refueling point, the refueling point is going to be a problem because if they refuel, they will take the other lane, but then they can't get to the iron. No, it will be correct. They will always pick the correct one. I retract my statement. It is correct because if they go to the middle bridge, then there's no path from the middle bridge to go to the iron loading unloading. It just goes straight through. And I guess this track can also be demolished. This one is also not necessary anymore, changing lanes here. That from is from quite a while ago. Side demolition. High priority. Still have one to build. This one goes here or here because they might choose, they will have to go here if they want to repair. Uh, and on the way back, they can come in from this side because it's a single lane track. So, yeah, should be fine now. After repairing, they do have a path back. We might lose a few materials now from demolition if we don't get there fast enough. But it's probably going to be fine. Um, wait until unloaded, please. You're not supposed to drive around that much. We can just wait here. There's only one vehicle. But we tell to drive and wait until unloaded. And this one is wait until unloaded at the repair station. Makes sense. Happiness went down by a percentage. Relocation. Sure. Health is pretty good. Okay, let's monitor the rail construction. We need to get our trains back on the line. It does make us money. Looks like we're building the track first.
bridge is currently not assigned. Hopefully it will perform the demolition next and then we'll do the bridge last. And it shouldn't take too long. It takes a few materials of course, but it's kind of close to the... It's kind of close to the rail construction office. Now that we're demolishing this, our lumber train and more importantly our waste train also can't get out. But we're producing way waste, way less waste since the mine can't run right now because we're full on iron, so it's fine. Everything is working together in unison. Everything is blocked at the same time, so fewer issues. And the path to the customs house, I guess we can use that as a signal maybe. Uh, it would create the same issue, never mind. I will just use a single lane, probably. So this would just be an exit lane. And that, was, that one would just be an exit lane, so at most one train can come in here to refill at one point. Refueling should not be the main concern. Okay, maybe we have the room for it. Probably not. The trucks for picking up the construction materials for our uh, construction office are right next to the customs house. We're also out of workers. Because we have a traffic jam. Well, at least one bus came in with four workers, saving the train from traveling back home. More workers will be needed though. Eight workers. The customs house is slowly starting to get overloaded with the traffic that we have. And I will have to consider trains fairly soon. Maintenance at the pump jack, I guess. It's fine. We're in tear 40%. Yep, we set it to repair at 40. As soon as the oil is loaded, it can leave. on prefab panels and steel, which is fine. There we go, demolition done. Only wasted like 3000 rubles probably. And now you can do the bridge and then we're done. I think. This section of track can then also be removed. Which I guess I can leave. It doesn't hurt anyone. Well, it might hurt someone. It might slow down rail traffic. this to be correct now. Train from here goes in these two only and these two come out to this lane only. This one can also go up here if it needs to repair. Train from this side only goes straight through, nothing else. Train from here just goes this way, nothing else. But there is still a rail block here. Seems to all be fine now. So we can send out the iron trains as soon as we've finished the demolition of that last section of the rail track to clean up the area. You want to refuel? No problem. 
As soon as the bridge is up, you will be able to refuel. That's gonna take a bit. Inform me when that construction is done. Then we're gonna check if the wooden train runs fine and then we can move the iron trains back. And the demolition work can be done on an active rail system, I guess. Panels. I'm gonna get a new house soon. We don't need the uh, University Hall of Residence just yet, but I'm gonna feel better having it set up. Better to have it already. 28 workers can't work because of no kindergarten. Alright, alright. I did want to build one across the road here. set up to make sure it's hooked up to water, sewage, heating and electricity. And it indeed is. And then there's going to be more housing here. The truss of the bridge is almost done, and just the train tracks across, and we're done with it. In the meantime, I guess we can start flattening out this area. The vehicles have arrived. Um, before we do that, I will place down a free gas station. Otherwise, they might just travel back to refuel, which would be unfortunate. I don't want that. And we're going to temporarily tell the vehicle from this gas station to bring some fuel over as a stop after the end station. Mm -hmm. Which we can remove at some point and no one gets hurt. Probably better to start with the industry area. We need quarries. The quarries themselves will have vehicles in them that will have to wait until loaded. Could start from this area. But I think we're going to use the hill. It's perfect prime material for gravel processing. They will transport it down into a into a storage via unloading stations I think. The more the more trucks we have the more unloading stations we will need. So we will have one, uh, two trucks per unloading station. We can start without unloading stations because there are two internal storage slots for vehicles inside the warehouse uh, inside the gravel storage itself. And then from the storage I guess we can have a conveyor belt feeding into the into the gravel processing plant itself. And after that, we can move it into storage. Have it available here for pickup next to the road. And also pipe, um, carry it, conveyor it into a concrete and an asphalt plant. So we will have to start somewhere, and that somewhere is probably going to be our gravel, our quarries. 
since this is tough rock, it's going to be hard to flatten. And we should be able to get a quarry in here at least. Two trucks per quarry is probably one what we're going to use. So if we start with a single quarry, we should be fine. Man, this is really, really tough to flatten. There's dirt here. I need to flatten this. Ideally, I would just... No, let's wait. Uh, let's do it differently. Ideally, I would just want to be as low as possible with the smoothest terrain in the area. Because then I can just have the quarries go into the into the side wall while having enough room here to terraform up for a road connection. I think this is going to be a better option. So the gravel quarries will now go into the side of this instead. Flatten manually. Fifty percent would be decent. We could get higher quality, but all it does is increase the loading speed and we will just have more quarries if we don't have enough along this area. It's going to be easy to set up multiple of these. coming down here. We will need our processing area. There's not going to be a need for workers up here, but the processing area will have to have one. The storage should be as close as possible to the quarries. Let's check our rail construction first. We are waiting for steel and prefab to make room. That means the lumber train should be on its way. And it is. Already refueled it looks like. Let's fix the, fix the last signal. Signals. So I believe this to be correct. Let's see how we are. I'm launching all four trains at the same time. And yes, now they're going to be slowed down by the way this is set up. If I move the rail line a little bit closer, I could be two lane up to here and then merge it down. But it isn't an issue once they have basically found their way outside, so let's just send them through. You're gonna go to the customs house too. 
the third one as well, and then the fourth one can load for now. So they won't get in each other's way. I'll just have to run through the customs house a bit. I might rework this to lengthen the area a little bit. Have the rail line come from here. Why this one? I mean, we could do that right now. Well, we still have rail construction workers. Demolish this section. As long as we can get through here. Yes, we can. Let's do it. And trains that have refuel can still get through the other lane right now. Should be fine. You were not supposed to go through that. How? Oh, right. No, yeah, if you if you refuel, you can go through there. I guess that is the one thing that you can do. You can go through the refueling station, but then you still have to go back to the original lane. Task is assigned. Train is on its way. Why are you going through the same step? I guess you. I guess it's shorter for you. You could drive. A, you could run around, but yeah. You don't care about that. Uh, tell me when the demolition is done, and we'll set up the correct line. Hopefully then we're going to be future-proof. So multiple stone quarries here, attached to a gravel road. Each quarry only needs to go to the exit, basically. We also could have the unloading stations up here. We could have an unloading station up here that then goes into a conveyor into a storage and from the storage then into the um, uh, gravel processing plant so the vehicles wouldn't need to drive very far might be a better option widen this area a little bit more, put another road next to it if we can, and then use that as our upper slope, and then go down a level and put the unloading stations next to it. Uh, let's just, just use the grid, doesn't need to be too wide. And then from here we will pick another elevation point, probably about this height. And put our unloading platforms there. start with only one. And as we build more quarries we can attach multiple stations to it, basically more and more stations down here. Furthest quarry going to the closest station and so on. Uh, the stations will have to be on this side because they will have to have a conveyor belt come down this mountain. Ok, 
Okay. I haven't built this yet. Uh, I want to try if it works. These are larger than I thought they would be. for an iron ore train to move out of the way so you can do the demolition work and now you're waiting for me to remove some prefab panels and a little bit of steel there you go and some gravel I guess since we already filled that one up there you go and then you have to build this track basically should I remove a little bit more to make it Fine. Nah, this is okay. Go across the road and hook up here. This is not fine. We will have to rework that before building it. This will not hook up nicely. So we will demolish this section of track as well. Before we commit to the train line. Probably don't need to do the whole thing, but I am. And then hook up the section of track. Production in the heating plant at 30 degrees Celsius is fine. Truck unloading. I thought I could have this angled as well, but it takes up a lot of space. We will probably have two, two unloading stations with a conveyor engine in the middle, then move them down. Fueling, I guess. Conveyor down to the next level where the gravel processing will be. The gravel processing needs to be accessible by footpath, so the people living down here will have to walk up here to work. And then one gravel processing plant should hopefully be enough for our current demand. We don't need that much gravel and I don't really intend to export it. But it should be hooked up to the rail line. 82 tons of gravel a day is quite a lot. And that facility will then go down here. Might go across the river to have a train loading station here. We could also move a single train line up here to load, but I think just conveying up to the other side for loading is probably going to be better. Since we don't use any distribution offices, we everything is going to be aligned, so everything can just convey everywhere, pretty much. This will have to go down here. It might be down this path, because this is not hard, solid rock. then come down here and this can hook up through this area as well. Just removing the trees mostly to be able to see. And then over here the road of this will have to cut through. Hook up into the downwards road.
travel processing area also needs to hook up, but by that point we might be on an asphalt road, I'm not quite sure yet. Fire truck access is not that uh, dangerous up here. If something burns down, it's not going to be too much. And yeah, these vehicles will have to travel over here to unload and come back. It's going to be a little bit of an extra path. Uh, we could we could also give them a direct route, maybe because of the extra road that we left here. We could flatten this to allow for a road to come down, which might be better. Why are you still waiting too long? Is the production not fast enough? Or was the demolition vehicle in here? The demolition vehicle is in here, so gravel first. Remove some steel. And prefer panels. And build that up again. So I guess we only had one loading lane for now. And yes, the signals are okay. They work. I'm happy that we could fit that. In this narrow area, left a little bit too little room to make modifications, but that's the interesting part. Now that they start learning again that they can go into the other loading platform, things should start speeding up. And the rail construction will not have to wait for me, they can just finish that. At some point it will be done. I should leave the road up here until I have decided on how large this area is going to be. I think it's not going to be any larger than this anyway, like this is going to be so much room for gravel quarries. I think this is going to be the size it's going to end up at. Maybe one more quarry over here. So then we can smoothen out the terrain in the middle. If it lets us, which it doesn't. It's a little bit too narrow. Alternatively, I could turn this like so and have them drive down here and then back up. I didn't want this to all be on the same elevation, I wanted to give it a little bit of different look. A conveyor engine. Can we get a road down here though? Yes. If we go this far. Maybe I will raise it and put it on the same level. Not exactly the same, but close to the same, so a little bit higher. Uh, this level. the unloading stations down here. Unloading stations shouldn't be too difficult to set up, and we can probably combine three of them into a single line if we need to.
maybe two per conveyor. The third one would be a bit difficult to hook up, I guess. into a storage, into gravel processing. Thankfully the area down here widens quite a bit, so the rest should not be too difficult. We are doing rail construction, so trains waiting a little bit longer should be okay. Money went down by 200,000 US dollars. Let's hope we regain that of actual income again. Two thousand five hundred tons of quarried stone. that goes then into rail processing, which should easily be in walking distance, probably with another conveyor, so we can use both internal storages, even though the gravel processing plant storage is probably negligible at that point. Did we lose some population? Nope, it's going up, never mind. 1,500 people to the next research. So gravel processing. Sideways again. Road access as the other buildings. Wouldn't need a conveyor. I might skip that. And then the footpath from the area down here. Yep. 360 meters. Should be okay. I still like the idea of a conveyor. If we ever have another source of input, we can feed that into this conveyor system.
I don't think we're going to need more than four unloading stations. We can have another... Another system here, probably. If I used to... Hmm. I would need another conveyor. I think the storage is maybe not ideal. We need better connection, a better connection here. This doesn't look that great. This one has a lot of connections and the storage capacity is still sufficient. And move the road to the other side. That gives us a lot of connections. Could have more quarries here hooking up in the, into this. Could have another one over here. We're just gonna pick this one and then potentially maybe another conveyor into another transfer tower, giving us more in the future. But yeah, the storage will work a little bit better. So that would be the basic plan for the gravel processing, which I think will look quite neat. Only one connection will be needed to the gravel processing plant itself. Um, I did hook this up in a way where I think I wanted to maybe have other sources for gravel. So maybe there could be a gravel storage here with an unloading sta uh, quarry storage. Uh, yeah, quarry stone storage here with an unloading station by train. But I think the, these, this one will be sufficiently filled by just the, the quarries that we have. There's gonna be a lot of throughput. Ambulance. <laughs> Maybe the amount of people is getting a little bit large to the point where we will need a hospital soon. That was the first warning, I guess. Rail construction is done. So, our iron trains should now be fully operational again, depending on how many workers we get to this area. And hopefully we can start earning some cash again. Road crane with traffic jam, I assume that was Probably the oil pump check. Maybe not. Is it in the list of vehicles? I can't see it right now. I thought maybe it had a warning message if it was in a traffic jam. Scrapyard. Another scrapyard. 
you're in ho at home. You're in here, sure. And you're in there. It was probably the maintenance for the for the pump jack. Because we had traffic jam before there too. Looks like the area is getting built. Slowly. Construction vehicles enjoy the footpaths way too much. We got our sports facilities. They do not have a waste storage. This one doesn't need a waste storage. Wait. You really can't get to the other waste storage? Uh, well, then I guess we're gonna use this footpath. That should give you range. Don't want to build another one. Quick check. Waste overlay. Don't see anything out of the ordinary. Prison account is going down. We do need some duty vehicles for our secret police. Otherwise, this is not going to do anything. Loyalty requirement at 30. If we drop below 30, then we won't have any secret police and people can work everything again. Definitely not that one. We did go for these ones in blue. Let's get two of them. I don't know if I filled up the secret police in this area completely. Mm, probably did. 2101. That should handle the secret police. Don't have any 21 year olds anymore without their own flat, but we are almost full in this building again. I wonder if I should carry workers from this area to the town center. Yeah, because, well, the old town. Because from the old town is where we are picking up workers for the iron mine right now. Yep, this is working very well now shouldn't be any more traffic jams. But the iron mine is working a little bit slow. We definitely need more workers in it. Don't have that much unemployment. But it is rising. If I start having unemployment down here, I will have to carry those workers up to this bus stop where they can be picked up to work in the iron mine. There is a lot of people here. Old town. Transfer unload. Oh god, that bridge. No, no. Mm. Why? Why game? Why? Well, we do have a bypass road, so we could tear this down and fix it. I think this happened because of the um, kindergarten, most likely. Oh well. could try and fix it with workarounds, of course. But this is gonna make it worse. I need a slightly higher terrain section. Uh, I can't build close to this at all. Just gonna mess this area up too. Well, that one we can fix later with the footpath up here. So 
but that's fine. Let's see if we can um, trick this. It might break things. Anything to the ground, not yet at least. Raise it up a little bit more, please. That was the wrong one. Now we're going to get into the tricky territory. That looks nice. Better than before. Can we put it back to how it was though? the mountain slope sticking into the into the kindergarten uh, it's still okay still okay I guess a little bit of a mountain stop is fine it's a little, little bit bumpy let's try putting a traffic sign on it doesn't do anything bridge does not care but I think this is better than before. There's a little bit of a bump in it, but yeah, that should resolve most of it. Why is there so many tra so much traffic jam? It's because we have too many trains now and not enough iron ore production. Palace Old Town, load only basic education first and then any education, that makes sense. And then bring it to the mine. I think that route deserves more buses. We did replace everyone with many buses, IKR280. But I will add two more buses, I think. I guess technically the mine is from Korazna. Need to make sure that we bring as many workers to the iron mine as possible. And transfer unload these people. I guess we are still loading the workers back up, so it doesn't really help. I shouldn't take any workers from this area at all. Old Town bus platform does not take any workers. Don't take any workers from there. We could also bring all the workers down here and deliver them from this area instead. So we unload anyone from this at this. And then they will have to get picked up, go around here, out. And then they come back. Yeah, the roundout bout is a little bit unfortunate, I guess. Right now I think we can still do fine with the old town bus stop. Even though it's already slowing down a little bit. I would also like to change this route to have the... Um, End station first. That's the wrong one. This one. So after the end station, 
go back here. Load only workers at first with regular education and then after that get the higher education ones if you still need more. Yeah. This should be correct now. Sending vehicles to the end station first. It's a little bit more efficient because they will immediately immediately do line spacing, but it also causes problems. Because they will if you send a lot of vehicles out at once, they will all try and immediately do line spacing, which could cause traffic issues. Well, the inner city buses should now bring a lot of workers to this bus platform. Uh, the bus platform itself was not designed for too many people, but we can still put 600 up here. Which will be helpful. The mine does not need 600 people. And the heating plant also gets workers, I guess, from this area, which makes sense. We start having 21 year olds without their own flat again, so more buildings, I guess. I'm a little bit worried about the heating plant, but it is completely filled. More houses, I guess. Water consumption, 22 cubic meters of water, so it should not be more, much more than that. Electricity. We have one wire which is red-ish, but it's only 0 0.8 and it's in an, in an area that doesn't really want to get expanded anymore. Otherwise, we have one yellow wire here, which is, yeah, it's fine. And the town down here doesn't use too much yet either. In total, to 2 megawatts for the whole town so far. Money seems to be going up again, which is good. Did spend some money on vehicles, but that's okay too. We can stop our bus route bringing workers to the Royal Construction Office again. That one is not necessary anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll just wait until everything gets constructed. Uh, we have 190 people here, which is probably about 250 citizens. So we have maybe 750 or more which is moving us closer to a research point, but not quite. Kindergarten got built. People can work in that one locally. That will be fine. Where is the heat exchanger? 30%. We're doing fine. There's no problem with that. Um, well, as long as the heating pipes are sufficient. We have one to one and we have a one in two. But one of those is going into a heat pumping station that is currently not being used, so capacity right now is one to one everywhere. And the heating plant gets a full complement of workers at all times. This town does not need to be big. It needs 45 workers for the gravel processing. It needs some workers for the for a fire station and of course all the other buildings that 
the town needs. But yeah, it does not need to be excessively large. And I guess maybe 10 workers each for for concrete and an asphalt plant. So we have that one to set up as well. Also need technical service, make sure this road is always cleared. Also, I guess our main road leading into this area. I guess our ambulances are struggling a little bit. Pollution, 2%, but not, not a reason for a health decrease. Crime seems to be on the rise. Had a few escapes here. Not sure, I guess four year, four prisoners last year probably from when we were near the capacity of the prison. Well, we were actually over the capacity at 46 prisoners. Sewage tank overfilled. There's our sewage tank. Technical service. Sewage truck. Just standing around in here. Sewage un sewage loading unloading station. Don't scare me like that with the word loading. Uh, it does have electricity. It's hooked up to the correct pipe and output pipe. Now we play the game of why do you not want to pick up the sewage other than the obvious reason so this is storing sewage over here as is any other building too the main obvious reason is probably that the vehicle wants to get repairs since nothing has changed in the area repair in progress well there we go let's get another sewage truck also happen with the water truck. Repair shouldn't be that slow. Yeah, it's happening right now. So just a minor issue, but sewage and health issues are not great, I guess. Having an extra sewage truck is not going to be a problem. I thought maybe this technical office could have reached, but I didn't set it up to go up in this area. Now they can assist each other a little bit. Road construction up here, also progressing. Currently paving. Once we reach this area, we can start developing the bus stop, shopping center, um, well, grocer. And the footpath down into our town. Still want to develop this to be an extension to our town in that direction too. More for aesthetics than for capacity. Oil storage at the Koresna rail yard. Well, there are supposed to be fire trucks over here. Looks like we're driving all the way around because of well, the snowplow told us that that's the better way. Should be safe. So much fuel in here anyway. This is still the fuel supply for our, um, our routes pretty much. So I should probably make sure that there's enough fuel in there.
Rosna Fuel Train Diesel Station. Krasna Rail Yard Oil Fuel Storage. Yeah, that's the correct one. We still have an old truck here. Trying things. But it's getting to capacity as we add more and more vehicles. I also have to shift over our fuel trucks from, from Hellas into their own uh, fuel storage to centralize that which would be in the service area down here it might not look very pretty the service area is squeezed in between the housing but that's I guess how it's gonna be three hundred tons would be quite good quite sufficient the problem with these is that they don't have their own loading slash unloading stations. We'll think about it right now, I guess. Customs house. Customs house is looking okay. Could be better. It would probably be better to get a a warehouse set up with a rail connection where we can distribute food, clothing, electronics into. But the clothing we're producing ourselves, so we just would have to drive it over and use that as a distribution point for other trains to pick it up from. But for food and electronics from the border right now, it would make sense. I don't want to have any any building over here that requires uh, a vehicle to drive over because otherwise it might drive down this way and then do a very weird turn in this area. I guess we could change that. We could just have the single lanes hooking up into a T-junction, a four-way four junction here. And then we could have the asphalt and concrete on that side instead. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to change my mind. the road connect not to the lane but instead to the middle of this and they can do a left or right hand turn whatever they fancy and then we have the asphalt and concrete plant on this side. With a road connection over here. Going in either way. I guess they will not get a, a beach. Looks like that is out of the question. Concrete plant, which will need gravel. And the asphalt plant will need gravel as well. Let me relocate you over to this side. I guess the gas station is going to be a bit in the way, but that's fine. This road is supposed to be here regardless. slow things down again. Not much is happening, so I can plan in peace. I 
I'm not sure if this is going to get a cement storage. It might. It would make sense to have one, but the in-game one is quite large. A little bit too large. To justify having it. Pause. Do we need a conveyor? Coming down this area, going over everything. Okay. It does not like the bridge, it looks like. Too many road sections here, so that's won't work. I wonder if it goes over a bridge in general. If it doesn't go over a bridge in general, or if it's just too many road sections here. No point in trying right now, I guess. Gravel will come down this mountain into inside two, maybe three conveyor engines. And then I guess we will connect it over the road here. If it allows us to. Check the conveyor. Doesn't work anymore because of the road. We'll need to twist the conveyor a little bit to move the road to the side. And from up here to down there. Probably two more conveyors. That should be about it for the industry, I think. We still need electricity for these buildings, of course. We'll need a fire station first and probably need to send workers here that can extinguish any fire while we build things. buildings will need electricity but this should give us the option to get the gravel to the asphalt concrete and maybe even the rail loading unloading station across the river or we will need a road bridge for 
for now asphalt and concrete only though. Uh, the gas station is probably going to be in the way. Unless I hook up the asphalt and concrete on this side. I think I'm going to use the asphalt plant over here. Actually no, the asphalt plant doesn't have a footpath connection. It's going to be more difficult for the workers to get to this area. We can just take water from the river too, which is going to work in our favor. asphalt plant over here. Which will need a fluid storage for some bitumen which we can put here. It doesn't need to be a very large one just so we don't need to have a truck standing around in there waiting, which we can't. And the workers, I guess, have to walk around this building to get in it. We have our road connection over here. Where the gas station currently is. We will also relocate that probably somewhere on the main road here so it's out of the way. Um, cement. I'm not sure about the cement storage here. Cement seems a little bit large. I mean we need one somewhere but we don't have to have it right next to the concrete plant I guess. Storing a thousand tons of concrete in the area is a little bit overkill. Only we had a smaller storage. I guess that wouldn't be the worst to have. Yeah, we can elevate the terrain and put a, a cement storage here. Since we can't have trucks running around, this is our best bet. And it has two loading stations, so it's going to be perfect. The river's going to get a bit smaller, I guess. fuel into where is it can I place another gas station I must have cancelled it I guess we have to bring fuel mm -hmm. into this gas station now instead of the other one don't need to start the whole route fresh just bring it over here oh I guess you're also driving here if no fuel is necessary I guess that's fine so we have asphalt plant 
we have our concrete plant, we have a storage for concrete. We need a storage for some bitumen. Ninety tons would probably be enough, especially since there is going to be a vehicle waiting for unloading here. This one's too much. I'll just put it here and draw a longer pipe. That's fine. Also give it a little bit extra road so it doesn't block anything if a vehicle's waiting on this. And maybe we can use an above ground pipe. Sure. You're a good planner, you're always a good economy. Hi comrade. Hi GHXXX13. Thank you very much for the for the compliment, much appreciated. But right now we actually have a good economy without having any loans, which is very nice. A very train-based iron selling economy though. How much are we making? This year, well this year is new, uh, last year. Uh, almost two million to western countries and 1.7 to eastern countries. Oh, sorry, 350,000 to eastern countries and 2 million to western countries. We imported a bunch of electronics, fabric and steel, because that's our main import source. But yeah, it's working really well. Seems like the iron trains have figured themselves out again. We're bringing more workers to the mine again. Going through the whole ordeal of fixing everything bit by bit was quite interesting and enjoyable. Well, construction ongoing. Let me go to the construction office in Colata and see if I increase the search radius for that one. I did not. I also need to assign the resources here, otherwise the dump truck in that building is not going to do anything. Another residential building up, the fourth one being built, and the hall of residence, I guess we're going to build it up, because I think I will tear the one down inside inside Karazna. I think this hall of this hall of residence is obsolete. It takes five cubic meters of heating more than our residential buildings. What is your tips? When I build a republic I always must take some loan. I don't get to have a good economy. Well I we had we had to take a we had to take a loan to get to where we were, but I don't think we went over 2 million per currency. I think, I guess the tip that I'm mostly giving is, if you run a building, try to run it as efficiently as possible with as many workers as possible. Don't overproduce one resource. I don't think building another iron mine would be as useful for export, but if I use it domestically to make steel, it would be worth it. Diversify your economy a little bit. Doesn't have to be everything, but get maybe two export resources. If one crashes, you're still fine with the other one. And also, I guess most importantly, focus on what you're importing rather than getting really good at exporting. Sometimes it's a good idea to look at what you're importing that is really expensive and then trying to figure out what you should deal with. In this case, fabric. We're importing that to make clothing for profit, 
and for domestically, so it's cheaper to import fabric and make clothing than to import clothing. So this one is a necessary expense. Steel is for construction, we don't have the research for it yet. Fuel, the oil refinery is really powerful and are usually avoided. So we're just exporting some oil to keep the fuel price down. Speaking of which, what is the price of oil? That's still, still very low. 13.5 US dollars. Um, but yeah, look at the imports and if you see something like, in our case, food getting more and more expensive, it's probably worth considering trying to reduce your imports rather than getting more exports going. So we will have to deal with food and then we can deal with meat and alcohol too, which are also not that low anymore. And after that one is done, probably electricity and coal will happen at some point. Our consumption is going up. But I want to do gravel and the construction industry first. Mainly because we have traffic jams at the customs house and I don't want to, to spend that much time picking up gravel over there. I guess on this side we will have the pickup for um, gravel, so we still have to get a gravel storage, which I guess could be in this area, instead of the conveyor engine. We have a quarried stone storage, but we don't have a gravel storage yet. I guess I should also not move the, the gravel from here out. I should move it from this conveyor because then I have a little bit of a little bit of a way for prioritizing things with the conveyor engine themselves using the priority system. But yeah, I think this has to be a gravel storage. Doesn't have to be a super large one. I do like large gravel storages though. Let's widen the area a little bit and put the largest gravel storage in that we can. Thanks. Best is to sell the most expensive product or to try to be autonomous. The best is always trying to be autonomous in the end. Um, I mean, the most expensive product is like uranium. But if you try and overproduce it, then the price is going to drop and the resource cost might go up. And before I try and overproduce a resource, I usually try and get into a different one. So one iron mine, one coal mine. And then if I need more, if I have my own steel mill, then maybe a second or third iron or coal mine. But for export, usually one is enough at most and it's better to diversify than expand the system. Although I do have to try running an economy based on only one resource. Maybe it is possible. Oil is definitely possible. You can go crazy with oil. Oil does not care at all. So if you want to only have one resource, go for oil. If you want to have an easy game. Oil is very profitable. Not oil, fuel. Oil refinery is what I mean. Get an oil refinery. An oil refinery, even with imported goods, will always be profitable, basically. Because you get so much from the, from the made resources that you don't really have to worry about things. That's all storage, conveyor feeding in, emptying out the storage in here, conveyor feeding out, filling up the internal storages of these buildings. And then we could have another conveyor going past this area into a rail loading station. So we, I guess we could also prioritize it on this one. It doesn't matter, we can go from this one if we can still go across with the road in the way. 
Yep, we can. That's fine. You're welcome. Now we have to get rid of the fuel. I also still have to plan the town, the fire station and everything. I think I'm gonna do that next time. I feel a little bit tired. Probably gonna put a cut in here now. So this time we built an extension to our town in Hellas, a residential area area next to our university, paving the path for building more and more amenity and service buildings in the area. Especially if at some point something over here runs full and falls over. We got a new prison. We fixed our rail system yet again. This time, hopefully, forever. Uh, question mark. But this should work fairly well now. Unless I wanted to get iron ore for our own steel mill. Where we might have more trains running through this. This should work well. Uh, we corrected... Did we correct anything? I guess we didn't correct anything. We built the road connection here towards our new residential area that we want to run. And we set up the initial plan for our gravel processing area, which is looking a little bit fancy. I hope it works the way it's intended, but thankfully we left, we left enough space that if it doesn't we can make corrections to it. It's going to be quite expensive with the steel necessary to build all of these conveyors, but I think it'll be worth it. Having our own gravel, concrete and asphalt will make sure that we don't have to go to the border anymore for any of those resources. And we will have a main road go through this area where they can pick things up. But yeah, I think I'm going to put a cut in here. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I will be probably back tomorrow, as usual. We'll see. I wish you all a good Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, wherever you are. Take care, stay healthy. And as always, maybe I will see you next time.